So Alexandra Rodriguez only wants to tell us this once. I mean, that's at least how she starts off the video that we're better watch in a second. But here's the thing though, let's talk about once. She can tell any one of us whatever she wants to tell us once. But do you know what matters the most? The fact that regardless of the fact that she said once, her actions are always going to repeat themselves. Her actions are always going to be more than that once. So this is the thing. This is the question. How can you expect you, how can she expect to tell people something once and for people to listen to her that first time when people have been screaming at her for months upon ends, okay, months upon ends about the same things that she keep, continues to keep doing, keeps driving a force of people to not want to be on her side anymore. I mean, look at it this way. Not the video that she just uploaded, but the video before that. She had people who would who were ride or die for her, even questioning her about Coco. Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. When the Coco thing first started, some of those ride or die people were like, oh, you know, it's okay, blah, 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 blah. But now they're all like, hmm. And it's sad because more and more people are now starting to turn their back on you, Alexander Rodriguez. Why? Because you've done things repeatedly. Your actions have been, repeat, have been on repeat. So you can say whatever you want to say once. But it ain't gonna matter. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into this uh, Insta story that she did uh, last night. You know what I mean? And see exactly what she said. And let's break it down. But before we get into that, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including Patreon. And every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. With that being said, get crack it back in. <clears throat> I'm gonna say this once because I just need to clarify it. When the trolls are like, Alex has rehomed every pet she's ever had. I mean, first and foremost, she can't be calling anyone trolls. I mean, she can be, but here's the thing though. The sad part about it is that she's calling every, she's generalizing saying everyone is a troll when the trolls say this. But like I said a second ago, some of those people who were actually coming at her for the whole Coco situation were people that would generally ride or die. To be fair, even the people that were coming, at, were coming for her before that anyway, they were people that were ride or die. But of course, things happen. Well, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. I have rehomed one pet before to my cousin. It was a kitten I had in my old Boston apartment like almost a decade ago that I wasn't allowed to have and I didn't know. And my cousin took the kitten after a couple I am curious, though, because this is something that I guess I can be educated on. But uh, if she... So, so, so why wasn't this public knowledge? Why are we now... I mean, the thing is, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. No creator really has to explain anything. They really don't have to say anything. They really don't. But if at the first time she uh, uh, gave away the cat, I can, I, can, I can only imagine people were questioning it just a little bit. But to be fair with you, at the same time, though, if she was to make a video saying, hey, guys, I've had to give away the cat, usually you can't explain why. You don't just say, hey, guys, the cat's gone. I had to just give it up. Usually it's like, listen, guys, I had to give up the cat because this happened. The question is, why wasn't that explained in the first place? Maybe it was. Maybe people have forgotten about it. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what she even said back then. What matters is that she's always looking for a lie to cover up a lie, an excuse to cover up an excuse. We saw that evidently when, he, when, she, when she was opening up about her stomach, you know, about having the tummy tuck before that she lied. She said, no, it was a medical thing. And now she's like, nah, it's, it was just a strapped tummy tuck. It's interesting, man. Always covering up a lie with another lie and excuses and other excuse. Like, yo, man, whatever, man. Let's get it. Couple days, and she still has the kitten, and well, it's a cat now, and she loves the cat. There have not been a bunch of animals <laughs> that have been rehomed. Like, I'm very salty about people giving me crap about Coco because I've been in emotional hell for over a week. Let's talk about emotional hell for over a week. Let's talk about salty. I mean, first and foremost, please don't say salty because salty is what you're doing. But this is the thing. Let's talk about emotional help. Oh, <laughs> this might be a bit off topic, but do you, know, you know one thing that I realized about Alexandra Rodriguez? Each time she makes one of these rant videos or these sympathy vi victim videos, I've noticed that her face is always very, very red. You know, and, and her hair is always done up into a little ponytail like this. And the reason why I mention this is because... We spoke about how, I mean, I don't know if we spoke about it, I know there was a conversation before at some point about how each time she does a ranting video, there's always like a, um, there's always a scenery. 
a scenery that is made in a specific way. Usually it's a scene of her sitting down on the floor and then she's got her hair done up or whatever you call it. And then after that, her face is all red and then she's got the dog next to her, which usually was a mum's dog anyway, to give it that touch. But it is quite interesting that uh, she's still going with that method because in this rant of hers or whatever, you know, you can see that she still goes with that same bloody method as if people are going to sit there and actually start to feel sorry for her because she looks all red and hot and bothered, even though she probably made herself all red and hot and bothered beforehand to make sure that the video came out pitch perfect. Remember that time when she had that picture, that picture of the makeup where she had a tear on one side and then it was exposed that that tear was never real in the first place. That tear was actually fake. It was something that someone sprayed onto her. Remember that time? This is the thing. The reason I stayed there is because Alexander Rodriguez, you've got a pattern now. The pattern is just repeating itself again and again and again. I'll be honest with you, Alexander Rodriguez, welcome. I mean, not so long ago I said you're officially a train wreck, but now welcome to the Psycho Continuous Community. community. The Psycho's com Continuous Community is where you find Amberlynn Reed, Chantel, Saji, sadly so. You see what I'm saying? Where you're just doing the same thing of again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Yeah, but anyway, let's continue, man. Let's not get too, 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 too distracted, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not going to get easier for a while. I'm gutted that Coco didn't work out here. But uh, he is so happy. I'm not going to talk about this again. But I am just extremely frustrated that people don't think that I did everything possible and I can't just sit here and defend myself every day but like I've seen sorry I got cut off um but I've just been seeing some absolutely absurd comments and yes I'm a public figure and yes people can talk about me and yes I have a lot of trolls but like I've seen people saying that I'm manipulating you guys and faking my illness to get sympathy about it's crazy though because right now her voice <laughs> the way her voice sounds so like you know ill but anyway oh yes yeah, my my apologies ladies and gentlemen her voice is like this because she's yeah my part but you know <laughs> questionable but let's continue coco what the fuck Eesh. no you guys saw me at urgent care i've had like severe bronchitis i'm finally feeling a little better but that's just sick and like Trolls will be trolls. You guys are going to say what you're going to say. And I know you're all watching this because you're fucking cuckoo. But literally, people... <laughs> Sorry. I had to laugh at that one. I know you're all watching this because you're effing cuckoo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That one does <laughs> Well, let's continue. Let's get serious, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get serious. God damn. You're always misbehaving, you guys, aren't you? Let's go people who talk shit about strangers on the internet like who make continuous fake accounts i don't rant like this much anymore because you guys literally like don't take up much of my headspace anymore but like see that's a lie i mean let's be honest she even on her on her honeymoon she had time to 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 put into her vlog a rant towards everyone else but to be honest you we are still in your head because you ranted on your honeymoon and let's not forget though the honeymoon of mill after mill after mill because literally every single scene that was there for the honeymoon was mill after mill. But nonetheless, let's stay on topic, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not lose ourselves. Peak therapy. I truly oh. don't like watching this because you're fucking cuckoo. But literally, people who talk shit about strangers on the internet, like who make continuous fake accounts, I don't rant like this much anymore because you guys literally like don't take up much of my headspace anymore. But like, seek therapy I truly don't like going on these rants i'm all about the positive vibes here i'm all about spreading positivity online um but like listen it's fantastic that she's all about spreading positivity online but you do realize something right when you spread positivity it has to be the truth in fact when you spread positivity it has to be something that you live by if you don't live by what you're saying then it's really not positivity it's more or less false hope it's more or less misleading. I mean, listen, when you want to spread positivity, the best type of positivity is positivity that you've lived by, that you do yourself. Not just positivity that's just for the sake of positivity because the moment people see that you're not even this positive person that you claim to be or whatever, it's the moment that they're like, oh, yeah. Let's be honest. If you seek advice from someone today, and you want some positive vibes, uh, positive advice from someone today, you're probably going to seek from someone who lives that advice, not someone that doesn't. 
because the person that lives it then becomes the role model the person who doesn't then isn't the role model and then when times get hard for you you're going to be like well you're not doing it so why am i going to do it because that's just how the negative mindset thinks you know what i'm saying but of course if you're trying to spread positivity spread it because it's what you're doing that is the best way actions actions over everything too many words in this world, man. Too many words. Too many people saying this, this, and that about this person, or this, this, and that about this event, or this, this, and that about, about this, this future. But the actions are never there. The actions are always the proof. You see what I'm saying? But everybody always ignores the actions. Always ignores the actions, majority of the time. Negative people ignore the actions. Positive people notice the actions of people. You see what I'm saying? Think about that. Just think about that because this is what we're having from this. Many other people in the world, not just creators, just people in the world, say certain things, but actions. Let's continue, man. Let's get into this. I am speaking up right now because I am absolutely livid that anyone would think anything less than I loved Coco with my whole whole heart and it's fucking National Dog Day. I have been sitting here all day, just honestly on and off crying all day. Ah, that's why your face is all red in that. Mm, whatever you say, dearie. I miss that little guy so much, but when he bit the shit out of my mom and she had to get stitches, that was my mom, by the way, not my hand, because they're like, where's the wound? It was my mother, who he loved. Unfortunately, he had a lot of outbursts. It's interesting that she said it was her mother because I do believe it when she says that because uh, in the picture, you could see in her hands, you can see the ring that was in the hand of the picture and the ring was the ring that was similar to what her mom wears. And I was going to bring it up, but I was like, let me leave that. I don't know if that's really true, true. But yeah, I'm just saying, I do believe on this one. But Peter was, I had my own conspiracy that it was her mom's hand, not hers because of the rings, but it is what it is. And it was not something that I felt safe with. And especially for my future kids after training. We had a really bad attack with our niece. Be honest with you, man. Each time, she, each time she talks about kids, I just think, please, please. But let's continue. A really bad attack with our mom. We've had a few like pretty bad ones with Yar, with me. Like it. Trust me, Coco. I bet, to be honest with you, if the dog was actually attacking Yar, probably it was probably attacking Yar, but Yar doesn't love you. <clears throat> I never said that. But let's continue. Mm -hmm. Needs to be with one singular person because he gets territorial. Just trust me, I've t you don't even know how many people I have talked to, how many professionals I've talked to, how many people we've worked with. You don't even like professionals. Each time you talk to a professional, you tell, it, you tell us that they're shaming you. It's quite interesting to be fair with you. So she has time to tell us that professionals are fat shaming her, but she hasn't got time to tell us that professionals, that, that she's just taking Coco to see a professional and this is what they said. Not even a timeline in sight. You got a timeline for, for, for fat shaming, right? But you ain't got a timeline of telling us what the vet said. Come on now, man. Behave yourself. That's how you know this whole thing is just madness. Girl, please. Coco is with the best, best possible home he can be with. This woman is a retired dog trainer. She is patient. She knew everything about Coco going into it. Um, she sends me updates. He's doing great. She's working on training him and just giving him tons of love. And again, that's the only thing getting me through this. So don't you dare minimize the pain that I've been going through because of this. It, uh, people will never know how much I love that dog and how much I wish it could have worked. And I can't wait to be a dog mom again in the future someday. I mean, listen, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But um, it's crazy, though. You know what? Hold on a minute. She, she, she hasn't finished yet. Let's continue. Oh, and also, just because I'm on this rant now, the thing is, with the internet, naturally as a big person, I am considered lazy. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. And that is another reason I'm so ramped up right now, because I know a lot of people probably just assumed that I was lazy and didn't do everything I possibly could to make it work. I never assumed that, but let's continue. With this dog. And that is infuriating. Because I mean, I never assumed that just because she's a big person, that's why she didn't do anything to the dog. That's dumb. You know how many people in the world right now that are big people that have pets that they look after with just like everything? Like, honestly, you see what I'm saying? 
So she's always got time to come up with this whole big thing. Big, 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 big. You're... <laughs> She may live mentally here, frustrated with her size, that she's doing nothing about properly. But the world does not revolve around your freaking size. Especially when it comes to looking after animals. I don't know anyone who would say that, hey, she's probably not looking after animals because of her size. That would make no sense. There are so many great dog owners out here who are, who are, who are overweight. <sighs> Ridiculous. But anyway, let's continue because I do not let my size hold me back. I'm also, you can ask anyone in my life, I am the furthest thing from lazy. I don't care about the people in your life because they're just gonna lie for you, but let's continue. Lazy, and I put my heart and soul into this relationship. You know, if she put so much, you know the way she just delivered the word soul? And Wait. didn't do everything, heart and soul. The way she just said soul, I mean, honestly, if she put that amount of energy into her health, then boy, my health will be in a better place. My health and soul put that hope and soul into health. That energy was real, but hey, she puts more energy into her rants than she does into her freaking actual health. God damn. Into this relationship with the dog and making sure that he had everything he needed and everything that we were supposed to do. So that's just another frustration of like being labeled as a, a lazy person because I'm big. It's just, it's not right. Again, I'm done. I'm not talking. <laughs> Let me remind you one, the one last thing, ladies and gentlemen. She said at the very beginning, I'm going to tell you this one time, but she's back three times, but let's continue. About this anymore, um, because honestly, it's too painful and it's too infuriating because no one will ever know how many tears I've cried, how many breakdowns I had, and how it was the hardest decision. But I knew it was best for Coco. He does not. I mean, to be honest, if you're marrying someone that doesn't actually want to be with you, that's basically a root mate. I don't know how that's not one of your hardest issues, but whatever. I didn't say that. Not do well around kids. He does not do well around like families. He, he's a one person kind of dog. And that is who he's with now. And it was. Technically, you're one person because believe me, you've only got a roommate. The okay. hardest decision. And I'm sorry, I'm getting ramped up again. I'm going to go. But like. And I'm freaking losing my voice, but oh, Alex is a manipulator. Like, why would I waste the energy? <laughs> like, I don't have to tell you guys things. I wanted to be honest. She's right. She's wasting energy. She's wasting energy of not better, better in her health, but whatever. Oh, but Alex lied about her tummy tuck. <laughs> yeah, because you guys are mean. You guys are so mean. I, uh, I beg to differ, but I'm pretty sure people wasn't mean prior to her lying to her tummy tuck it was because she ended up lying about her tummy tuck that made people mean but hey man we just we are all just delusional man we are all cuckoo <laughs> let's continue and trust me there are so many of you guys who are amazing and sweet and wonderful and i oh my god do i love you so much but Thank a you. lot of y'all are just mean and this pandemic has made you all even meaner so you know what if you're watching this, you went there with the pandemic, you know. God damn. You mean the pandemic where you were still out here making your monies happy and Larry and, you know, doing your madness while a lot of other people were affected with so many other difficult things? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you go there. You talk about the pandemic as if it really affected your life that dramatic. I mean, I'm not saying it didn't, but, you know, compared to other people. Go do something nice for the love of God. Go do something nice because this world is ugly enough and I'm just. I'm over it. I'm over it. Be nice. Just freaking be nice. Well, that is that. That is that. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, man. Ladies and gentlemen. But listen, you let me know what you're thinking right now. I've said a lot of things throughout this whole goddamn video. And all I want to say is this. She said a one thing and then she ended up making to a whole rant as per usual and the rant was pretty much the exact it was staged the way she always does her rant differences it was on instagram rather than on youtube that's just the bottom line but here's the thing though ladies and gentlemen like i said at the beginning you can say one thing all you want but you're gonna keep making the cycle happen welcome to the cycle club the cycle continues but with that being said thank you so much for your time let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. But with that being said, like, subscribe, peace.